Hey, so real quick, I wanted to say that I'm re-uploading this video because it was missing something important, but I also found some sneaks on Twitter I wanted to show you guys, so I'll just show them at the beginning before. So this is the visual effects for the Fire Fist attack from the Flame Fruit. Honestly, it looks really cool. I'm going to slow it down so you can see, but there's like the little rings around the fire when it's moving. Man, these are some crazy effects. Next, I want to show off a boss image. This one got retweeted by one of the Rail Brothers, so I kind of wanted to talk about it. It's like a tiger with a sword in its mouth. I don't know if this is from One Piece or anything, but I don't recognize it, so maybe they're coming up with unique bosses. Anyways, that's all for the sneaks. Let's get into the rest of the video. What's up, Goblin Nation? It's Jibrian, and today we're going to go over the fruits and real seeds to discuss how they may handle and what playstyle they'll support. Hopefully this video can help you guys pick out your dream fruit, and if you already have one in Vine, maybe this will change your mind. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm almost at 500, so if you're quick, you can be one of the lucky few to join the early sub club. Let's not waste any more time, and don't worry, because delicious times are ahead of you. So the first category we're going to cover is going to be the Paramecias, aka when the writer of One Piece looks around his room and thinks, what if that were an ability? Of course, I say that, and the first fruit is Quake. Maybe there was an earthquake or something. This is kind of an interesting one because it really is just the ability to shake things. In the show, he uses it to punch and create shockwaves strong enough to create a tsunami. Um, I'm guessing in this, you'll be able to apply it to your fist during combos, so I'd probably say it's more of an aggressive melee build. I'm guessing if you apply it to your fist, maybe there's more screen shake when you hit someone. I'd say it's very close range, but if they give it the tsunami ability, that's going to give it a huge AoE, but I don't really think they would. I know every other game seems to do that. From the gameplay they've shown, I think the combat is scaled way down compared to something like Black's Brood or GPO, which is full of like ability spamming and large AoEs. Next up we have Love, which is really interesting. I think it's kind of slept on because in the show she's able to turn people into stone if they're attracted to her, but in gameplay I think it would just serve as either a stun or maybe a way to finish off people. Combined with its long range moves like all the arrows that you can fire, I'd say this one is more of a range support build. Could be really good. I just imagine it's going to be lacking in powers to balance it. Then there's gravity. This one's kind of weird too because it's going to be large AoEs with slowing effects. It might have a meteor for big damage but we don't really know about that yet. This one could be really crazy to complement your sword or melee build. I'd probably say it's a mid-range support that can complement your melee ability so you're not useless when they, when they push you. Okay, if string is anything like in the show, it's going to be crazy overpowered. Being able to attack at close range and long range is going to be really useful to any pirate trying to win a fight. If they give you the clone ability, it's going to be even more busted. Honestly, this fruit is super versatile. It could fit pretty much any role on your crew. I would say more of a focus on middle range. So I almost want to say pause close range because of the way it's on the hands, but you're able to shoot projectiles with it. So I'm guessing it's going to have good mid range capabilities too. I think you guys are going to notice a lot of the higher tier fruit end up having a lot more versatile builds. In the show, the fruit allows you to repel anything the paw touches and they even use it to heal someone you by repelling away all the pain so they give it a healing capability at least phoenix will finally have some competition i'd say close to mid probably more to close range uh with possible support applications then there's the revive fruit hopefully they give it a passive that lets you revive once per fight that'd be neat they actually gave it a different form like in the show which is kind of new most of the time they just give it like weird ice powers so it'd be really cool to see how it turns out. I'd for sure say this one's going to end up being a close range fighter. Although it'll be really useful to any other build you're running with the revive ability if they give it it. So in the show, the bomb fruit let you shoot bomb projectiles, but he was doing that by using snot, which is kind of gross. I think this one's, this one's probably going to end up being more ranged AoE attacks. Damage focus, not really much utility. I can imagine you'd probably pick this fruit if you were a big fan of Bakugo, but you know. Other than that, now I already know some of you are sleeping on chop, but being immune to swords gets rid of like one of the three ways you can take damage. Even with hockey, you're not able to hit someone to chop. If they do it anything like the show, then you're going to have full immunity to swords. Plus your melee attacks will have added range because you're able to detach your limbs and send them forward. Chop could be super overpowered on a melee build. The soul fruit has the ability to take souls and put them in into inanimate objects. Now whether this is just going to allow you to summon things that based on the amount of souls you've collected or what, I mean honestly I don't know how this is going to work at all. If we had to go off the teasers with the, the sun and the cloud, I'm sure it'll have fire and lightning attacks. So probably a long range AoE attacker with summoning possibilities. So Venom is one of the rare Paramecias with a transformation, so this one will be cool to see with poisoning attacks that probably do damage over time. I think this is going to be a 
close to mid-range AoE fighter. I'd say the poisoning is going to be really effective if you end up hitting anyone. Now I'm personally excited to see barrier in action. I think it's kind of underrated. The ability to create an impenetrable wall that you can move is really powerful, especially adding it to your fist for increased damage. In the show, he was even able to make stairs for mobility, which is crazy. This one's probably going to be a mid-range support slash melee build. Now, rubber's probably going to be terrible. I can't imagine the ability to stretch being useful at all. Obviously, that's a joke because the gears that it comes with are going to amp up your ability to do damage very quickly. Increased range on your melee and also added transformations that progressively get stronger, this fruit is going to be overpowered. I'd say its only drawback is that it doesn't have any projectiles. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say close range. I'd say the Ope fruit is probably one of the most anticipated fruit that's coming out. The ability to create a dome and then basically control anything inside of it is going to have a lot of utility and be really hard to counter. Normally I'd say close range, but I think once you're in the dome, he's kind of got it in the bag. So probably mid-range. Next category is the Zoans. These are the ones that let you turn into an animal in case you're a furry. Nah, I can't even hate. These are probably some of the coolest ones. Most of the Zoans are going to be pretty straightforward because they're just basically just based on an animal. First up is Leopard. Imagine you could turn into an animal. Now imagine that animal is a Leopard. This is going to be a really quick, agile fighter. High mobility, close range. Next we have Red Banana, aka Giraffe. Get your long neck. So the Giraffe is going to have longer reach on its attacks due to his long limbs. I'd say probably middle of the road in terms of speed and strength. Next we have Wolf, which aside from probably being a cooler animal, I think is going to be in the middle of Leopard and Giraffe in terms of speed and damage. If you ever wanted to roleplay as a, as a werewolf, then I guess this one's for you. Now imagine you saw a Bison and then wish I could turn into that bison. That doesn't make any sense, I'm sorry. Bison is probably going to be a tankier and heavier hitting, but slower moving form of like a Zoan. So this fruit lets you turn into a brown ball. This is actually the falcon fruit. I don't know why it looks like this. Pretty low effort to be honest, compared to the others at least. I'd say this one's going to give you higher mobility because of its flight ability. Faster attacking. I don't think it's going to be very tanky though. Now the Allosaurus definitely has a cool factor. I mean, you're basically a smaller T-Rex. Honestly, if I ran into this fruit in the wild, it'd be really hard for me to resist eating it. I imagine it's going to be one of the better Zoans. Now you might be wondering, Jabrian, how is Buddha a Zoan? And to that I would reply, that's not how you say my name, and um, I guess you transform into Buddha. I don't know, weird. I think being able to grow huge is going to be really good for hitboxes, and you're probably going to get a massive health boost, so pretty good. Plus you get to be bright gold. Now Phoenix is probably my most anticipated fruit. Personally, I love the idea of being able to fly as a giant flaming bird, and also the healing abilities to be really useful when I'm looking after my crew. This is probably going to be one of the best fruits in the game, personally. So this one's a little confusing because it's labeled Yamato Fox, but Yamato has like a sacred wolf uh, zone. Aside from being able to turn into the creature, it also allows you to shoot ice out of your mouth. Next we have Dragon, which is probably also going to be one of the strongest fruits. Allows you to turn into a dragon, which has flight, and shoot a giant beam out of your mouth, so it has ranged attacks. This is probably going to be one of the ones where you see someone use it and you turn your boat around and leave. Now for the last category, we have the Logias, which are the ones that are usually an element and allow you to turn your body into that element. I won't go into too much detail because most of them just allow you to shoot out that element, so they're all going to be kind of the same. First up is Sand. Now imagine if Dirt and Air had a baby. That would be Sand. Sand kind of specializes in removing water. In the show, he's able to just suck the water out of people, which could be a really cool finisher. Next is Smoke, which is... Pretty cool. Kind of like air if you could see it. I'm sure you can double its abilities as a smoke screen, which also has a pretty good utility. Next is magma, which is kind of like if fire and dirt had a b oh, shit, I already did that joke. So this is basically just fire, but hotter. I'm sure you can create temporary land masses in the ocean. I know some of the games allow you to walk on water using it. No, this is the don't come o come o to school tomorrow fruit, <laughs> aka darkness. This fruit allows you to negate other fruit, which is kind of interesting. I think a skilled user would be able to pull in and negate projectiles that other fruit launch at them, so it could be very useful in combat. Now who hasn't wanted to shoot lightning out of their hand at some point or another? Well, for the low price of just eating this fruit, you'll be able to. Also, super unique amongst the Logias, this one has a transformation. I wonder if they would make the other ones have a transformation. Maybe someday. Another personal favorite of mine is the flame fruit. Visually, it's probably one of my favorites. It's going to have large AoEs, and also adding fire to your punches is going to look really cool. Now you're going to go nuts when I tell you what dough is capable of. It lets you turn your body into dough. Technically it's not a Logia, but it behaves like one, so I added it here. Although usually you need observation hockey for that. Now, have you ever been kicked at the speed of light? Probably not, but with this fruit, you'll be the one doing the kicking. 
The light fruit allows you to turn into light and move at the speed of light, which is very good. Kinda messed up that you can get someone who can turn into smoke, and then someone else who can become light itself. But hey, no one said it was balanced. Last but not least, we have ice, which is a really good one because it allows you to walk over the ice in the water. Slowing down your opponents or completely freezing them with ice moves is also going to be really powerful in combat. Man, that took way longer than I thought it would. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll be back with more content. Hopefully, uh, maybe not as long as this one. Let me know in the comments if you changed your mind on any of this fruit or which one you're planning on going for. As always, it's been Jabrian. Have a nice day. Oh, and shout out to Angel V4 in the Discord.